My name, as you've said, is Maya Murray. I am a 20-year-old Black Canadian student affiliated with Peel Children's Aid Society and have been since the age of two. But in April of 2021, this year, I was referred to the Restoration and Empowerment for Social Transition, REST. When I started my housing search back in December of 2020, actually, I struggled immensely to be taken seriously by both independent landlords and by representing brokers. My age told landlords that I was too young or immature to live on my own, to respect my property, or sorry, respect their property, and to have accumulated adequate savings and to manage my own expenses. My skin color told landlords that I was unintelligent and could be taken advantage of. But something peculiar I noticed was that my gender identity as a cisgender woman actually made my experience easier because from what brokers have told me, landlords are more trusting of young women than they are of, quote, young, violent, irresponsible men, end quote. Beyond my intersecting identities, the expectations to produce pay stubs, credit checks, and previous landlord references all discriminate against young, marginalized, and first-time renters in this region. Never was I judged by the content of my character, and never was I judged or considered for my need to become independent. When Children's Aid Society referred me to REST, I found great comfort in the unique services that they provide to youth and Peel. REST has personally helped me with financial planning and literacy, cooking, life skills assessment and development, rebuilding relationships damaged by trauma in my life, career and education planning, rent subsidy, funding for the bare essentials, so food, water, and hygiene. That's quite a long list. <laughs> rent, or sorry, REST support rather, has helped me with my housing and personal needs and has made school and work much more manageable. The organization has truly served and continues to serve a vital demographic in our community and alleviates a lot of stress among vulnerable youth. Through REST, I, as a youth myself, have also been able to give back to the community with their support. I'm a member of REST Youth Council, which comes together to plan events and youth gatherings within the organization. And I also host REST's new podcast, Homelessness in Hiding, Our Youth Between the Cracks, where I interview REST organizational actors, as well as youth impacted by homelessness in Peel, to raise awareness about this issue to the general public. So again, through you, Mr. Chair, to the Distinguished Council, I ask that you consider the benefits of an organization like REST serving the community of Peel on a wider scale and heed my testimony as a young Black life forever changed by their support. Thank you for your time and your consideration. Well, Maya, thank you very much.